Okay guys, today we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the nitrate ion. So here's the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. If you're not sure how we got the oxidation state of this particular polyatomic ion, please go and watch one of my videos on how to determine the oxidation state of polyatomic ions. There's a few examples there as well. Okay, so step one here. We need to know the valence electrons, so the group which nitrogen is in, so that's 5, plus oxygen is in group 6, multiply this by 3, because we have 3 oxygen atoms, plus the 1, which comes from the negative charge. So if that negative charge was 2, we'd put 2 there, etc, etc. So if we add all this up, we get 24 valence electrons. Now, the important thing here is, we now know there's 24 valence electrons in this structure. So these are all the outer electrons. So there can't be any more or less, so they have to add up. Now the next thing I want you guys to understand is, how do we know if there's any lone pairs? So all you do, because nitrogen follows the octet rule, okay, we divide by eight. Now, if we divide 24 by 8, we get 3 with no electrons left over. If there were any remaining electrons, that would be the lone pairs. So we have three bonding pairs. Okay, now let's draw the structure and I want to show you how we can eliminate things to calculate the correct Lewis structure. So, first of all, we know nitrogen is going to be the central atom because it's the least electronegative. So let's draw nitrogen in the center. We will have, there's no lone pairs, so we'll have three oxygens, one, two, and three. Now, the first thing is let's draw and see what we can do with the nitrogen. So you'd think, I'm going to use, use a different color. You think nitrogen has five electrons in its outer shell, five valence electrons. One, two, three, four. And let's put that one there. Five, okay? Now, if that's the case, let's try to make this balance, okay? So I'm just going to make this a bit more prominent. So we've got five. So now I'm going to use a different color again for the oxygen electrons. So we know we have six. So I thought I had a different color there. Two, four, six. Plus this will give us an octet. So we'll, let's just accept that for now. I just want to show you something. So here's another two, four, six. This matches up, which is nice because we've got that eight there. And then let's have our two, four, and six here. Now there's one electron missing, so we don't have an octet here. Let's add everything up just to make sure. I mean, this was supposed to be an electron there, so we have two. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 valence electrons at the moment. So now I'm going to use a different colour and that's the extra electron. Let's put that over here. Okay, now this structure now has 24 valence electrons. Valence electrons. We can tick that box. Now, the other thing we need to work out is, do we have the correct charge, overall charge of the molecule? Now, the overall charge was a minus one. How are we going to calculate this? This is something which we call formal charge. Now, formal charge, which I'm going to call Fc, equals. 
So we'll, let's work out the formal charge for nitrogen first of all. Its valence electrons are 5, okay? And then let's look up how many bonds it has. So it has one bond here, one bond there, three bonds. So minus three bonds. Are there any known pairs that are not being used here? No, they're not. So this is uh, 5 minus 3, which, which would equal plus 2. So the nitrogen has a plus 2 charge. So let's do the same for each oxygen. Okay. Oxygen equals, so it's in group 6 minus, we have um, one bond. Okay, plus six dots, two, four, six. So six minus seven would be minus one. The same situation seems to be appearing everywhere. Okay, so here, here as well. So each oxygen, same scenario. I'm just going to write this out. So equals minus one charge. Oxygen six minus. There we go again, and it equals minus three. So if we add all the two plus two plus the minus three, the overall charge is minus, which makes sense here. There's a big mistake here though, right? Can we see that? We have one, two, three bonds, and the overall charge there is not an octet. So the issue we have here is, because nitrogen is in period two, it follows the octet rule, there has to be eight electrons there. It is not an expanded octet, and it's not an exception to the octet rule. So we have to rethink what we just did. So going back, what we can do here is the nitrogen is there we have our three oxygens what we can do is let's use the blue first have one two three four and then use the greens to make a double bond so we have two there and this is four in total plus these two makes six this one here makes seven and let's do the blues again to get all the oxygens now we have one two three four five six one two three four five six and then the extra electron which is over here. Let's add everything up again. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So that ticks the valence electrons box. Yes. Now let's look at the formal charge of nitrogen. So nitrogen will equal 5 minus, this time we have 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds okay because it's a double bond so and there's no dots that are free so minus four would equal plus one this oxygen here okay is six minus we have um, the two bonds there so let's put them in brackets plus the four dots okay so this time it has a formal charge of zero the other two are the same so the other two oxygens are going to have a formal charge let's just write it out of minus one 
the same thing is going to apply here. Another minus one. So if you do the mathematics again, the overall charge is going to be minus one, which satisfies our molecule here. Now, this makes more sense because we've got eight electrons with the central atom. We've still got our octet here. We've got our octet here. We've got the extra electron there. Now, if we look at the overall charge, it's minus. The formal charge is correct. Now, one more thing I'd like to point out here, just for you guys, is that what you have to look at here is the nitrogen shared both its bonds here. So that is a coordinate bond, okay? Or what we, you could call it a, a dative covalent bond, where the nitrogen, nitrogen is sharing both the electrons in this covalent bond, okay? So that is the correct structure for NO3. So the key point is here, are first of all, write out the valence electrons, then divide by eight. If there's any left over, you know they are the lone pairs. So we accommodate for them in the structure. Then does the molecule follow the octet rule? You then write out, draw the structure. You always use the less electronegative element as the central atom. Then calculate the formal charges to actually make sure that the molecule has the correct charge. As you can see here, it had the correct charge, but there were six bonds in the central atom for nitrogen, which would not suffice. So we had to rethink and then we added our double bond there. And also in this situation, we had a coordinate bond as well. So that's the end of that. I hope that made sense. Thank you guys.